Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we have a double feature coach outlet and coach retail shop with me to see what the biggest difference between the two are. But before we hop into today's Coach Retail versus Coach Outlet Shop With Me double feature, if you guys love Coach, Coach Retail, Luxury, Handbags, Hauls, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you. Enjoy today's video and it helps with that pesky... YouTube Al Go Rhythm Now first up we are gonna be going to the Coach Retail Boutique And first up we got the Revel Bag 24 this piece is definitely like a Louis Vuitton Alma, like an Alma BB or whatever. Like that's totally like a spitting image of it. But this is Coach's version. Got like the rogue top handle there on there. Very beautifully constructed. Has some nice beautiful gloved hand leather. Some decent brass hardware by the looks of it. And the stitching looks phenomenal. Not perfect, but it's a really good. And the hardware on the tag looks nice. Got a stitching error there, but I believe that's like the only one on the bag. Not bad. Just slowly slide it open as you get a nice feel for the zipper that the retail bags contain. Very, very nice sturdy zipper. Easy glide, not too tough. Got coach embossed on the metal hardware of the buckle of the strap. And the strap leather is not too thin. Has a nice decent thickness to it and also has like a decent wideness as well. Take a look at the microfiber suede on the inside as well as the price. $610 for the Revel bag. So it is really expensive. But this is the retail boutique. And even the coach patch has like very nice clean, clean lines. Very nice uh, stitching and the vinyling is really nicely done. And then here we got the Brooke Carry All. The Brooke Carry All 28. Has a beautiful little coach lock on the side. Beautiful leather as well. Get a nice look at the turn lock on the front as well as some vinyl handles some decent handles they're not bad by any means has some good stitching and the turn lock is a very sturdy has a nice turn to it deep embossing brass very nice just slides on very easy very easy turn not too flimsy And the price is also $610. So not too bad. Not too bad for like a pretty big bag. Take a nice look at the coach patch as well. Again, nice and clean. Does look like somebody got it dirty though. Kind of gross, but what do you do? And beside it is just the normal Brooke carry all. Get a nice look at the leather and the canvas used. The coated canvas is definitely very nice. Not my style from Coach Retail, but it's still very sturdy, has the suppleness, and it's nice. Nothing wrong with it. And here, next up, we got the mini cash and carries with rivets. Nice gloved hand leather, sturdy, and I do like this piece. It's been on my radar for a while, but... It's just too small of a bag, in my opinion. 
as you can see, the construction's beautiful, like, very nicely well made. $252, originally $360. Now, it is a very small bag, and, like, even the leather straps are very small, but they're very, very nice. The leather used is very immaculate. And even if this, the handle straps are very small, because the gloved hand leather is so high quality, it will last a very long time, especially if you're wiping it down with like every other use. Now here, this is where my, my critique for the boutique comes. It's these new reiterated tabby shoulder bag 26s. They're just not as nice and sturdy as previously released. And as you'll see in outlet bags later, they're almost on par with outlet bags, honestly. They're very flimsy. Eh, the, even, like, the microfiber suede used feels less. It's hard to describe because I personally have a 26 from two years ago. And it is, like, leaps and bounds better in the quality department. I think the only thing different really is the softness and leather. It's more supple in the newer reiteration, like in this video now, but I would take my nice, sturdy, very well-made handbag compared to like a softer handbag that doesn't feel as sturdy, doesn't feel as high-end as it should. The handle's all right. Not as nice as we've, as we've seen in this boutique experience so in my personal opinion these are definitely not as good quality as they could be originally 550 currently on sale for 385 dollars canadian i do love the colors though the colors are very pretty and the silhouette is just iconic i love my my tabby 26s like they're one of the most iconic coach bags, in my opinion. But I will say the one with gloved hand leather far outweighs the pebbled leather ones. Bar none. And then next up is the Studio Baguette. The Studio Baguette with gloved hand leather and rivets. Well, crystals, whatever you want to call them. Little jewels. They're very similar in, like, size and puncture as, like, the uh, mini cash and carry was. $550. So it is quite expensive, but it's beautiful. Very nice, thick, thick leather. That's what I like most about this is how thick the leather is. Not all coach bags are super thick in the leather department, but this one seemed to be, and I like that. And the brass hardware on the front, well... Eh, this one looks more frosted gold to me, but it's still pretty sturdy. Very beautiful. And even the microfiber suede is nice. Get a nice look at the story patch, and just the pure craftsmanship is immaculate. I really do love Coach retail bags. But as we'll see soon, the outlet still does hold its own. Even for the price points. And then here we got the iconic Coach Rogue bag. I love this piece, especially in this, like, gloved hand pebbled leather. That is some of my most favorite, favorite Coach leather to date. It's just so beautiful, and it's two, it's basically two leathers in one. You get pebbled and gloved hand, and it just creates such an effect on the leather that's, like, timeless and it's just really beautiful though I will say uh some of them like there's some bags with this leather now that aren't as nice as this one currently in the video but that could just be due to like whatever right not every bag is going to be as soft as the next it's just variation in leather and that kind of thing but the bag is just immaculate beautiful Con the construction is stunning. The hardware, amazing. I love that it's brass, it's thick, and it's just very, very beautiful. Has a beautiful pull. I love the zipper pull to this. 
beautiful cotton canvas as well. But now we're going to be moving on to Coach Outlet. And the Coach Outlet, as you'll immediately notice, there is a slight quality decrease. Nothing too crazy, though, which is nice to see, but there is a decrease. And right off the bat, the pebbled leather. Now, this bag is $175, originally, quote-unquote, $350, and it's 50% off. $175, comparing, like, par comparatively, sorry, to, like, the boutique pieces we just seen, that's not a horrible price, even in the slightest. But the bag is fairly small. Regardless of the leather or not, it's not as nicely embossed for, like, the pebbled as the retail is. But it still holds its own. It's not bad by any means. When I sit here and say it might be inferior to quality compared to Coach Retail Boutique, I am not bashing Coach Outlet. I'm just giving you the so you know as a customer. I own both Coach Retail and Outlet and I love both in the quality department. The Coach Outlet bags are just for the price point you're getting them at like you can't really go wrong. And with the Lane carry-alls here I love my Lane top handles like these bags are beautiful. And with the, like the little turn lock little front there you'll notice it doesn't have enough it's not as sturdy as the brook carryalls that we've seen from the boutique so that is another difference is that the hardware isn't as sturdy or well made though it's still good and you'll notice that they're mainly frosted gold you're not going to see too much brass hardware. You're going to see a lot more frosted gold or like frosted silver. Still stunning pieces though. And I do like how they did like this leather, like the leather with the brass hardware because usually they don't do that. But as we do know with like the retail boutique, we got like the pillow tabbies and such and like they do have the leather trim on the hardware as well. So it does, it does, it's nice to see that the Grace shoulder bags and the Grace tote bags also have that. And when you did look there, the microfiber suede and the story patch is not as nice either. I will say the microfiber suede isn't, far off like it's not far off like they're both in similar veins of quality not as high quality but it's not far off like with the leather it's like a very noticeable difference but with the microfiber suede on the lining and such it's not as noticeable it's a lot more like get away like you can get away with it a lot better and comparing like the handles and like the vinyling still very nice and like the bang for buck or bag for buck it's still very very much worth it i feel like this bag here is kind of like the outlet version to the rogue but it's very nice as you can see the pieces the hardware it's still good not as sturdy and nice as nice sorry as the retail but it's good it's still really good similar construction to other bags as well so you're also getting like nice constructed pieces for your outlet prices and I like that I like how coach outlet doesn't throw the quality department out the window when it comes to outlet because some outlets and other brands it's horrendously night and day difference with boutique versus outlet and I like that coach outlet likes to keep outlet high in the quality department but here for $328 50% off we do have the Cali crossbody and it's kind of like the mini cash and carry it's the outlet version to the mini cash and carry but it is larger not as expensive but it's also not as good in quality it has the cheaper 
outlet pebbled leather so you're not getting the really beautiful gloved hand leather that the cash and carries get but then again you're getting a larger bag so it's kind of like do you get the smaller bag with better leather or do you get a bag that still has good leather but it's larger kind of like i don't know it's up to you you know that's what I like about Coach. They give you these really good options. They give you really good options. And here with the Katie crossbody or like the Katie satchel. Girl, I want to buy this bag just for that chain. I really wish Coach would chain, like, they would just like sell these chains separately at like decent prices. But alas, here we are. <laughs> so this is the outlet version to the Revel bag from boutique very noticeable in quality difference this one's more like cross grain not even close to like quality wise but it's still a good bag and you get it for like a fraction of the price a fraction of the price though it's not as um i do believe the revel bag is a bit smaller in size too but like these are still really great you're getting great bag for buck. So that's what Coach Outlet is good for. Good quality, good bag for buck. And then closing it up, we got the Morgan shoulder bags here. Which is crazy to look at these because these are honestly better quality than the, the tabbies. The tabby 26s that we just seen in Retail Boutique. This is what I mean. Eh. Very questionable why they lowered the Tabby 26s to such a outlet level in quality. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, in all honesty, the Morgan shoulder bag or the Tabby shoulder bag, you're not getting much off. Like, they're both very similar in quality. Very much similar in build and style. And both are just beautiful. Four hundred seventy-eight dollars, forty to fifty percent off. Not bad. Maybe there is right now. And ninety-nine. Don't believe in you, but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred hundred people. Hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred. Hundred. Nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine. you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's double feature shop with me and the little Coach Retail versus Coach Outlet showdown. Now, what are your thoughts and opinions? Like I said, Coach Retail and Coach Outlet both offer really amazing product. Now, Coach Retail, you're getting really high quality pieces and you're paying a premium price for that. But with Coach Outlet, you're still getting really, really great quality, but you're also getting a sizable piece and it's not as well crafted as a retail boutique bag. You're still getting such a great quality bag for such a great bag for buck. And I love that. I love great bag for buck, you know? But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's double feature, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day. Or double feature shop with me for Coach Outlet versus Coach Retail. As well, you can always support me and my channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>